This pot was not what I expected. It's better than I expected. I expected this to be like a slow cooker or a crock pot, something that takes a long time to make your food with, and it was not. It is not what I expected. In fact, I'll time it in a bit here to show just how fast this is. Hello, this is Eric of Not Bios Tech and Reviews, and today I bring you the Yo Khan hot cooking pot. Now what's different about this is for one, it's ceramic, non-toxic, so it can heat up super hot without damaging the materials. Now a lot of the non-stick pots will actually off-gas and no longer be non-stick if you get them hot. This one, well that's not a problem. What we want to see is how it cooks and see if it's worth your money. And of course, this is one I'd get myself because I don't want to have a pot off gas and release cancerous chemicals, and this one won't. Now let's get started. But it has like two settings, so you're not gonna be putting on top of your oven. You'll melt it. So you just plug it in and set your setting. And it comes with a strainer. Yeah, it's pretty cool that way. So we can cook spaghetti or whatnot and not have to worry about going all over the place because we have this here that came with it. And it uses the same power plug as a computer PC. So you can literally have a computer and, oh, I lost my plug-in. I'll just take it off my computer screen or, well, most towers at least have the same plug-in. Not necessarily all computer screens. Mine does. So either way, I am saved with a plugin or just buy a plugin for your computer. And there you go. So if you want to extend it, put your plugin angle, you can just buy a plugin for your computer. With this particular pot, we have a warranty card and we even have an email address. We also have the user manual, English and Chinese. So we have all our basic information in here, including safety usage. Now, one thing I want to note is what's the difference between a regular pot and a ceramic pot? Well, pretty much all nonstick are going to be fairly consistent, as in you don't want to use metal utensils. You'll want to use wood or plastic, but not something that's abrasive as metal. Your lid, nice lightweight, by the way, and it has little venting holes right here. I like the quality. Now for the drain basket, one thing you'll want to know is you want to make sure it's nice and snug together because we can see right now it's tight. I'm going to pull a little bit of looseness to it. Now we see there's a gap. So we need it snug when we put it in and that way you're not going to lose your noodles. Literally not going to lose those noodles if you keep it nice and snug. Now to start this pot for the first time and see how this goes. And I can see there's a light right on the pot handle right above the switch we can see there's a light and oh it's brighter actually at higher power interesting so off all the way to on so the food i'm going to make today is some wild rice most people generally measure out what they're going to put into their water but i'm not most people i pour it in and that's how i do it and it works We can actually hear it hitting, like making noise now that's heating up. I actually did never cooked anything yet, so I didn't expect any noise at all. The sound of it like kind of percolating cooking was really, really quick. In fact, I didn't notice that there was actually some bubbles starting to form fast. Well, how fast? Well, this is where I'm going to test boiling a liter of water. And we're going to have a timer so you can see it. Now let's... Check that out. So right now I have the pot here. You can see it's not hot. I'm able to touch it. Not a problem at all. And we have a cup of water. And this is not at all hot. It's literally tap temperature, which is probably about, what, five, six or so degrees. And I'm gonna pour it in here and see how long it takes to boil. One liter of water. It's not on yet. 
and we're gonna turn this on. So keep in mind, this is only 100 watts. If I were testing an element on the oven, that's like this uh, larger element, I believe, if not mistaken, is 1500 watts. And the smaller ones, I believe, are 1000 watts or so. But yeah, this is one liter of water on basically this 800 watts max, rated for 750 watts, but I got 800 watts. And let's see how long this takes to boil. It is going to take a little bit of time, but that shouldn't take very long at all, maybe about a minute or so. And while that's happening, hmm, I hear some sound already. Let's see if you can hear that. I got my mic. I'm going to take that off. So we hear some sound already from this. Those wondering about this microphone, I do review it in my other channel, Not BIOS Studio. This is Not BIOS Tech and Reviews. So let's see what it looks like now. It's already starting to boil. Do we see how short of a time that is? Doesn't take long at all. Look at that smoke already. The steam. <laughs> but yeah, no time at all to cook with this. Unlike a crock pot, which you might think it's the same idea with this cord coming out of it and everything like that. But a crock pot doesn't boil water this darn fast. This was not time sped at all. You hear me right now. You can see me moving right now. And yeah, fast, very fast. Right now we're actually cooking this on low and it's still boiling pretty good despite being on low. Underneath the pot is quite, quite cool. Not very warm at all. So that's nice. And it feels like it's safe to touch the sides. Not a problem. Handle near the top is a bit warm near the switch and about right here in the handle just below the switch is a bit warm but not burning hot. Now I'm going to mix some veggies in here. I'll probably turn it up to high temporarily while I do that. So here we go with the mixed veggies. Since we don't want to use metal utensils with this, I'm just going to use this plastic one. I could use a wooden one but don't use metal on this or pretty much any other non-stick pan pot. I have some sweet basil sauce for this. I'm also gonna use some garlic, fresh garlic, and I'm gonna mince it into here. I got some cheap, low quality cheese, but that's more flavorful than healthy cheese. So sometimes you gotta take some and give some. And this here is actually black and white salt and pepper. It has a unique smoky flavor to it. I can't find this where I live, but uh, on Vancouver Island and Campbell River, I can't find this stuff. And that's not where I'm living now. Yet. Again. When this hot pot is plugged in and it's not turned on, it uses zero watts of electricity. So that's great. It's not going to waste your electricity just by having it plugged in. Let's turn it to low. And we can see it's rising up power-wise. So your voltage is going to actually determine what it maxes out at. And let's see what my voltage is in my place here, volts. So the volts coming through is 117.5-ish. Now I'm going to turn it to high. Let's see what happens on high. Wow, that's more than it's rated for. So your voltage coming in will affect the wattage. That's 50 watts more than I expected. I expected only 750 watts max. It re reached 800 watts. But no wonder it actually cooks so darn fast. Like when you turn it to high, it's like done, like boiling right away. On low, it's still pretty hot. Like it still cooks quite fast. Right now it's almost done. And then soon we're gonna get that pasta sauce in. I just gotta be careful about it 
like burning it because this cooks super fast. So I'm going to flick it off. So when you get close to where you're going to be point like the point wise with how cooked it's going to be, you might want to turn it off. It cools off pretty, it seems pretty fast and heats up pretty darn fast. I probably can make about three meals or something out of this. Nice smoky flavor. Great stuff. Sadly, this type of salt and pepper is very, very difficult to find around this area where I am. Well, if you could actually smell this. It smells amazing. It has that nice smoked smell and smoked taste. We're going to put some cheese in here. And for those wondering, yes, there's a max line to fill up this pot. So here we can see our max fill line. And this will give you two, maybe three meals or so worth of food. Because if you fill up more than that, you might make a mess. My unhealthy cheese. Turn the heat off again. And then I always put my garlic last to keep that health value of the garlic. So the reason I started making this type of recipe is because I found that using soy sauce was too much sodium and just not very healthy. So I added mixed veggies and I used wild rice rather than white rice. The cheese is not very healthy, I'm sure, but it's what I call the balance. And now Time to add that lovely garlic. So my garlic pieces are a little too big for my cutter, for my mincer. My little garlic mincer is right here. So I'm gonna to toss my chunk of garlic in and start mincing. It's amazing how fast this goes from being like super hot cooking it to like basically off. Now if there's one setting I'd like to have seen is something that a little bit lower power wise like maybe instead of 400 like even at 200. So it's not like just to keep warm but just so it doesn't cook as fast at least for I guess it would hold it warm but at least it's when you're running out of water it's not cooking at such a high high rate of speed still. Okay, now to mix in that lovely garlic mince. Don't want to put too much or else most people won't be able to stand your breath. So nice creamy sauce and I have some chicken upstairs. I'm actually cooking as well. And that's going to be my lunch for tomorrow. You can see it comes off quite nicely. Now if I had a regular pot, it would be sticking decently with all this cheese especially in it. Since I don't want to make a mess trying this out, I'm just going to grab a spoon because a fork, well, can be messy. Turned out really good. Didn't burn. If I had it to a pot, I'd have to be constantly mixing it all the more than when I did it in here because a pot normally sells at the bottom. You probably face that yourselves many times in cooking. When you run out of water, if you're not mixing it all the time, and if you have the heat on, it's going to burn to the bottom. But this one, this worked quite well because nothing is burnt on the bottom itself, despite there being heat. But simple, if you're getting, if it's cooking too fast, just flick it off and then flick it on again. What I'm eating. It's really good. Okay, so now I have my food all ready for tomorrow. And I cleaned up a bit, but I have dishes to clean still from last day. But we want to see how this pot cleans. So everything's been left in here for about 20 minutes or so. Let's see how this non-stick works to see if it does work well. 
And of course, this is just a regular dish towel. It's not half bad at cleaning up. So it has a non-stick pot. It is definitely non-stick and it definitely cleans up nicely. It wasn't even soaking as you saw. It was just dirty. So what are some of the disadvantages of this hot pot? Well, the cable itself is relatively short. The actual effective length, effective length means fully plugged in and not including the part that's plugged into the pot, happens to be about 47 inches. And 47 inches is uh, between uh, 119 and 120 centimeters in length. So just shy of four feet. Now we can extend that and I'll try to leave a link in the description below if you wanted a longer cable for this particular hot pot. Now it's very efficient and that's one part that's really lovely. You don't have to worry about burning yourself. Please don't wash, run it through a dishwasher or anything else. We have electrical components inside this. So I recommend washing around this and inside it. And in terms of the strainer, I'd have preferred something that's exact to the pot, not something you could actually get wrong if you want to, not necessarily be flexible, but this makes it more compact. I can see the reason why for this, but very nice. I like it. I am for sure going to be using this device. Now, would I recommend it? Of course. Didn't think I'd like it this much. I thought it would be really slow like a crock pot, and it's not. This is Eric of Not Bios Tech and Reviews. Thanks for watching and have yourselves a most wonderful day. Now, just a side note, make sure you use a wooden spoon, plastic spoon to scoop out of here. Don't use any abrasives. You don't want to damage this. You're likely going to have metal below this, which means you don't want anything leaching into it. So take care of your material here and it'll take care of you. This stuff is going to be strong. It should last test of time as long as you treat it properly. If you'd like to support this channel, feel free to purchase from the links down below. And also, if you want to buy a quality shirt like this, this is from Fiobach. And I have a discount code below. So if you want to help the channel, also you can subscribe, help on Patreon, and have yourselves a most wonderful day.